uh, to see you guys again. Oh, thanks so much. Um, obviously, uh, we learned so much and uh, playing the AFL. You know, it's very tough. You know, playing every three, four days. You know, you need to be mentally prepared, um, especially with the long traveling. So, you know, it's just the experiences that we've, you know, gained over the last few months, last few years. You know, with Versitao as well. So, you know, we'll share our experiences because um, it's not easy, and we'll be, you know, facing a similar challenge now, you know, we'll be playing home and then away. So it's just for us to make sure, you know, that we recover well. You know, like the coach said, um, recovery is going to be key. It's going to be important because we've played so many games. And it's just to remain, you know, hungry. You know, this is our job at the end of the day and we don't need to look for any excuses. You know, each and everyone gets tired, but, you know, you get paid to do this job. So it's just to be mentally, be mentally focused each and every time uh, to go out there and do a job. And yeah, you know, coming to the camp, um, glad to be here again, looking forward to the games, uh, obviously the start of our World Cup campaign. Um, you know, we've got the experience, the valuable experience we gained over the last two, two years. Um, you know, the pain we felt, you know, has carried us through, you know, the last year or so. So yeah, I'm just glad to be part, um, looking forward to, to the camp. Um, obviously, there's a good feel in the camp. The result that we've got over the last few months has been amazing. So, you know, we want that to continue. Um, there's a lot of uh, new faces, a lot of familiar faces. So it's our job, you know, as the leadership, just to make them feel part of the team. And, yeah, we're just looking forward to the games. And, you know, to, to Lyle Foster, you know, from the team, you know, obviously we miss him. You know, he's in our thoughts, he's in our prayers. Um, we just hope, you know, that everything can go well for him and that, you know, he can return to do what he does best, which is play football, you know, so it's better our love and support. Especially from your side, obviously, it isn't as easy, it's not as cut and dry. You sit here, you represent your country, you have media, you have the entire South Africa watching, listening as well. Um, what is your hope? You're hoping the World Cup qualifiers campaign, because that is when the summer wants to be. Your hope in terms of AFCOM and how South Africa and media can rally behind the team and offer them the support that they so deserve. Hello, hello everyone. Yeah, it's good to be back home and then uh, having the opportunity to represent my country. I mean, I'm also looking forward to the games that we want to have right now. We want to win and then we also want to, to go to the World Cup. I think everyone plays a role in helping us achieving that. We need all the support that can come out and give us. It's either from the fans or from the media. We just want everyone to be part of this, and yeah, uh, we we are excited about the challenges that we have going to Afcon, and now uh, and we'll be ready. Ready for these World Cup qualifiers too? Yeah, we are ready. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready. <laughs> All right, taking questions for Ronald and Percy. Yeah. 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 It's over here first, and then you, Lily. Oh, my God. Um, speaking of the staff, you know, you guys are going to finish an event. Um, what's your message, you know, of course, looking at the amazing atmosphere yesterday, you know, South Africa and the KDH support, what's your message? Yeah, I mean, it's so key, you know, it's key for the supporters to come. Um, they play such an uh, important role and we've been crying out for their support for the last few months. You know, I think we've done extremely well as a team. Uh, we've turned things around, so... We need them to get behind the boys, you know, um, as we've seen now with the experiences with the AFL. You know, when you go to play at Al Ahli or you go to Widat Casablanca, they make it so difficult for you. The atmosphere is crazy. You know, you can't hear yourself and, you know, they, that's why they're so successful because the supporters support them, you know, through thick and thin. So I would just like to urge the South Africans to get, you know, behind the team, get behind the boys, you know, just continue cheering for us, fill the stadiums, you know, it's, it's amazing, you know, and I mean, we've seen what it's done with the, with the rugby boys, you know, I mean, they've been amazing over the last few years, you know, because they've got the support, you know, there was a time when things were not going good for them as well, but, you know, the support is stuck by them, so I'm hoping the same can happen to us, and I'm hoping to see on Saturday, you know, a full Moses Mabida. Thank you, Um, thanks. Now from five to 
would it take um, to achieve that goal? Um, the belief. Um, the most important thing is to believe that we can achieve it. I mean, two years ago, we were one game away, you know, 90 minutes away from achieving our dream, you know, so it's possible. And I mean, the core of that team is still together today, you know, so we've learned our lessons. Um, as you can see over the last year or so, we've done extremely good work. So the most important thing is to believe that it's possible. You know, we can do it, we can achieve it. So it starts first starts in your mind, you know, to, to believe that you can do it. So And you can see it. You know, you've got a coach who believes in you. He believes in each and every player that's here. And he believes that we can achieve things. So we need to believe it as well. And, you know, the, the mentality is there now in this group. Uh, I think you've said enough. <laughs> but I know, just we add on. We want, want everyone also to believe in us. I think we, we believe so much in ourselves and we also want South Africa to show that they believe in us. I mean, it does happen that we lose games or we don't, we draw games, but we still need the support to be there. Because it shouldn't only come in when we win or we go to AFCON or the World Cup. It should always be there with us. And now we will make sure that we do our best in, in the World Cup qualifiers to make sure that South Africans are happy. Stuff, it's stuff, but I mean the technical team is so key. Um, you heard the coach's first remarks was, it, it can't be a, an intense uh, camp this time around, and that's amazing from the coach because he understands the load that it takes, you know, from from the players. So you no, know, um, recovery is so key, you know, and how oh, you love your, your your life as well as an individual. Um, you can't be partying and you know, enjoying life when. You are playing every two, three days and traveling. You need to rest, take care of yourself, and be the ultra professional. You know, it's it's tough. Africa is so massive and it's big. You know, so the traveling, you know, it takes its toll. But it's what you do, you know, as an individual and as a team. You know, just to recover, stay focused, and you know, once you get the time to to rest, then you know, then you can do all your other activities. Yeah, personal, I believe that also it's important to take care. Of good care of your body because there's just so many games and then there's not so much rest in between. And uh, everything's at stake during those times. So it's important to also take good care of our bodies. And uh, follow a routine, do always your routine, whatever I should do in your recovery that helps you. Not gonna tell them about your recovery. <laughs> nah, they know. These guys, been, I've seen a lot of faces here, and we've been together for, for some time. They know. <laughs> nah. Any Yeah, I think so. I think uh, everything rubs off the guys. If you watch our training sessions, both teams, no one wants to lose. And then whoever scores, you feel the celebrations that they want to win. So I think that's something new going with our national team right now, that where we celebrate even at training. Before it used to be just training, score, it's normal, but now you can see that both teams don't want to lose even the training. So we're all trying to chase success. And then we see it in other sports that it's possible for South Africa to, to get success. So we also want to follow that.
Obviously, it's it's tough, you know. But once you become a professional, you know, you know, there's a lot of things that out of your control. And I always believe control what you can control, and that is yourself, you know. So I know what I can do and what I'm capable of, and I don't need someone else's approval, you know. And I just take care of myself, and you know, we go uh, through so many personal challenges, you know, especially where we come from, you know, our society, places where we come from. It's a lot of things going on, you know, and there's a lot of negative things that's going on, but you need to be strong, you know, you need to, you know, try and be that inspiration, you know, for things to change. I mean, I've seen Sia Kolisi always speaking about that. In his press conference, he doesn't speak about them winning, he always speaks about being an inspiration to the country. So that's what we try and do, is to give hope you know, to the person who's struggling at home. And it's not easy, you know, but, you know, the, the small platform that we've got, we try and do what we can to put South Africa on the map and to give, you know, hope to the next generation. Yeah, I also feel that it's, it's hard mentally to take in everything that people say and the goals that you set to yourself as an individual. Sometimes you achieve them, sometimes you don't. But people tend to forget that you, you are also a human being with feelings and emotions. That stuff do get to you. And at the same time, you always try and put in a, a tough face and go through, the, through, go through the moments. What I do is I always try and get closer to my family. And then, yeah, I mean, sometimes you can't control opinions and... You just look at what you can control, and you try and live off there. And yeah, some situations are not really there to affect you. People tend to be negative sometimes, but it's not because of your doing. So you try and look at what they are saying. Is it really about me or they are just trying to be negative about the situation? So yeah, mentally it's hard. Happy? On that note, thanks, guys.